Okay, we're back. Uh, it's a great show. Really fun time. A packed show. A small space, but a lot of a lot of variety. A lot of good animals. Um, it's it's been a long day. We seven hours on the road, uh, between back and forth, um, and uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster. I I I got word that they had a female false water cobra at Roscoe's. And uh, so we went straight there, purchased it. Beautiful, beautiful animal. And uh, had him hold it while we went and saw the rest of the show. Went back later to pick it up, and, and Mike was there. He wasn't there when we originally purchased it. And, uh, and, and he, just knowing it had been sold, he double checked the sex on it, as is his practice. And uh, it's a good thing he did, because it turned out to be a male. So, uh, he was, he was a unbelievable character about it. He, he, he did everything he could to make it right. Um, you know, gave him my cash back on the spot, gave me, uh, he's got eggs that are going to pop. He's, you know, given me first option, a, a pick of the letter. Um, just a phenomenal guy. I'm, I'm, I couldn't be happier. I'm unhappy because I was already bonded with the snake as a beautiful little animal and I seriously thought about taking it anyways, but I just don't, I just can't, I don't need two males. And, uh, but, um, so, it, emotional roller coaster. It's one of those days, you know, like I've been searching for the snake for six months and uh, I, I thought I found it. And, uh, but he did, he was, I, I can't say enough about how he handled it and how apologetic he was and, uh, and it's, you know, all's gonna be good. I gotta wait a month. If in a month, I'll see him at the Pomona show, and and uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get whatever snake we want. So all's good, but uh, one of those days. Huh? Yeah, you know these these things happen. Every breeder I know has 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 been on both sides of this stick. You know, you know. But he he checked it without before I even went there to pick it up. Had he not. I could have been two years in on this snake, you know, and not know, you know, before it was, you know, it's a hatchling, so it would have been two years of raising the snake up without knowing. Um, so, I, I, huge, huge thanks to how just his due diligence, just without even anyone saying anything, he double checked it before it went out to make sure that it was what it was labeled as. And, uh, so, these things happen and uh, onward and upward. But, anyways, a long day. So, what we did get, we got some spider wood for the crested gecko enclosure and a piece also for the abronias. Uh, this would be a good one, kind of closed in, they could stick it down in the ground and give them another angle. And another piece that I was really looking for for the abronia cage to give them a little more, a little more hiding space, a little more diversity. It's, I was looking at the cage and getting it home, it's a little bigger than I thought, so it may be a bit of a challenge to fit in there, but I suspect we will. And so, here is our, here's what we, what we did get. It's a super Dalmatian, four-year-old male crested gecko that I'm very excited about. He's a beautiful guy with good structure. And I love all the spots in his orange sides. And he's even got some red spots. And when he's fired up, he's gorgeous up under his chin and up behind his eyes, he's really red. We got to see some of his offspring and uh, super impressed. So, clearly a boy. <laughs> so we're excited to get him with uh, our little creamsicle that we got from Greenleaf. Uh, so that's our success for the day. Um, good show. A lot of animals. A lot of ball pythons. Some amazing ball pythons. Some beautiful boas. I yeah. I I showed some restraint today, not pulling the trigger on some of those boas they had there. But. Uh, so, anyway, once again, we we came home without our female <laughs> false water cobra, but 
it's on the horizon. So.